channel as you can tell by the massive decoration and all the stuff that's on this table in front of me I'm going to be doing a 4th of July themed video and this video is extra special because it's a big collab with some of my friends so I will have all their videos and channels linked down in the description below so as you can tell by the title today I'm going to be testing different Pinterest and BuzzFeed DIYs that are 4th of July themed. So I just have a few of the ingredients here. We're gonna try a lot of different things. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you are coming from any of the other girls' channels, hi, my name is Nyla, I post videos every Wednesday. So be sure to subscribe for more. Let's get started. Okay, so for the first DIY, it's from Pinterest and it's right here on the screen right now. So basically, the only ingredients you need for this is some shortcake um, dessert shells and I got these from Publix. Then you're gonna need some red and blue fruits. I got this from Target. Gonna need some whipped cream and you don't need sprinkles, but since I have them, I'm going to use them on every single thing. So, let's start with the shortcake. We're just going to put some on the tray. Okay. So, we're just going to use some of the frozen fruits. These were frozen, like I said. So, we're just going to spoon them in there. And then... What you're gonna do now is take some whipped cream and shake it up and put some onto the shortcake. And it looks pretty awesome. Am I right or am I right? I'm gonna throw sprinkles on them because I'm extra. That is it for this DIY. It was pretty easy, very Instagram worthy. So I give this a 10 out of 10. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. Now we're going to move on to the next DIY. So I have it right here on the screen. So I got these little ice cream sandwiches from Publix and I have two of them unwrapped already right here. And in these three plates, I'm gonna put different types of sprinkles Okay, so I'm gonna take a knife and I'm going to cut the sandwiches in half. What I'm gonna do now is take half of the sandwich and I'm going to wrap it around in the sprinkles. I'm just gonna put it right there. Do the same thing with the rest of them in the other plates of sprinkles. Blue one. Okay. So that was easy. I give this DIY a definite 10 out of 10. Super easy. So for this next DIY, anything dipped in chocolate is the way to go. So it's basically just chocolate dipped goodies. So for this, I got red, white, and blue chocolate, which I have here, and they're melting chocolate, so they're easier to melt. I got some dipping pretzel rods, and then I have some vanilla wafers, and I have some sprinkles and some stuff that I'm gonna put the chocolate in to melt them. So now I have melted the chocolates, and they're pretty, you know, chocolatey. I have here the vanilla wafers and the pretzel. Basically what you're going to do is just dip the pretzels and the wafers into the chocolate and you're going to twirl them around into the sprinkles. You can see I put chocolate on some of the pretzels and some of the wafers and also put some sprinkles on them and you can put the sprinkles however you want to. Now I'm going to put these into the fridge so that they can cool and harden and once we take them out they'll be ready. So this is what we're going to be making and 
just some ingredients and supplies that I have here. Frosting, some cup, some cake mix, um, some ice cream cups that stand up on their own. So that is what we need. Let's get right into making this. I just finished mixing up the cake mix and now I'm just going to take my ice cream cups and put all of them standing up in each. Okay, so that took about two sleeves. I'm just going to scoop some of the cake mix into the cups. Okay, so I kind of messily filled up all of the cones, so now I'm going to put this into the oven 28 minutes, and by then they should rise up. I'll be right back when these are done baking. Okay, so. <clears throat> I took them out of the oven so now what I'm going to do is ice these and put some sprinkles on them so let's get into that part let's see how this goes I have here my icing in a makeshift piping bag then I have what's left of my sprinkles throughout this whole DIY and the sprinkles that came with the frosting so let's get started Okay, so this is the finished look. I tried my best to do like little dots around the edges as you can see. So it looks pretty different. So I just had to take a hand at, you know, food decorating. So I think this turned out pretty great. Now we're going to cut this bad boy open. And that's what it looks like. I think that's pretty cool. So you can use Funfetti cake mix or if you want to, you can use regular white cake mix and add in your own 4th of July themed sprinkles. And I think that would be super cool. So as you guys can tell, a lot of these DIYs did work out and I love it. And I have a bunch of stuff to eat all by myself. But if any of my friends are watching, feel free to come over July 4th and eat all of this amazing stuff with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and you, if you happen to be from the other girls' channels, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and my personality, and these goodies, and comment down below what you're doing for this July 4th, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!